Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about mechanism of action of vitamin D. We know that whatever functions of vitamin D, it will be through its active form. So what is the active form of vitamin D? The active form of vitamin D is 125-dihydroxycholesterol. It is also called 125-dihydroxy D3. And another name for this active form of vitamin D is calcitriol. Calcitriol. So now whatever the functions of vitamin D, it is through this active form. So mainly this active form of vitamin D, that is calcitriol, acts on intestine, it acts on kidney, it acts on bone. Besides these three major organs, vitamin D has it can act through many tissues because the whatever the action of vitamin D, it is through a receptor called vitamin D receptor. Now researchers found that many tissues or cells have this receptor. Now vitamin D is also called hormone. So this hormone belongs to group 1 or class 1 hormones. We know that group 1 or class 1 hormones has got receptor in the inside the cytoplasm either in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus so this vitamin d its receptor is intracellular receptors particularly vitamin d the receptor is in the nucleus okay and this receptor is called vitamin d receptor okay vitamin d receptor it is actually a nuclear it present in nucleus now this vitamin D receptor which is present in nucleus it has got two domain it is a protein this is now vitamin D receptor it has got two domains one domain is called hormone binding domain or ligand binding domain actually calcitriol will bind to this domain hormone binding domain and it has got another domain this is called dna binding domain dna binding domain this vitamin d receptor since it is a protein its gene is present in chromosome 12 present in or located in chromosome 12 and it is made up of, of 427 amino acids so when vitamin D binds to this particular receptor, it will act as a transcription factor and it will regulate gene expression that we will study in a short moment from now. Now whatever the mechanism of action of calcitriol is mediated by this vitamin D receptor which is a protein with 427 amino acid and two domains. Today we are going to see vitamin D mechanism the action of vitamin D in intestine. We know that vitamin D helps in absorption of calcium. So the function of calcitriol in intestine is helps in absorption of calcium from the intestine. So the active form of vitamin D which is calcitriol helps in absorption of calcium in intestine. So here I already drawn a picture of cell that is intestinal mucosal cell. And here in intestinal lumen we have lot of calcium. So the dietary calcium. So this calcium must be absorbed to the intestinal mucosal cell. Then it should be transported to the circulation to the various organs. For the absorption of calcium we require calcitriol or vitamin D. So we will see how vitamin D helps in absorption of calcium that if you understand then that is the exact mechanism of action of vitamin D okay we also learned in previous presentation the active form of vitamin D calcitriol which is synthesized in the kidney it will be released to the circulation when there is more calcium in the in our diet so this calcitriol will be released into the circulation and it will reach intestinal mucosal cell now we have active form of vitamin d in intestinal mucosal cell so this calcitriol will bind to 
receptor present in the nucleus. So now this calcitriol will bind to receptor present in the nucleus. That name of the receptor is called vitamin D receptor. Now there is a complex between hormone. So which is hormone now? Hormone is calcitriol and the receptor VDR, vitamin D receptor. So there is a complex between hormone and vitamin D receptor. This is called hormone receptor complex are also called hormone responsive element. It, this complex, particular complex will also bind to a, another protein called RXR, so retinoic acid X receptor and they will form heterodimer and this heterodimer acts as a transcription factor. So they will bind to a certain region in the DNA. Now this vitamin D or calcitriol, vitamin D receptor and retinoic acid X receptor together they will bind to a certain region in the DNA and they initiate formation of mRNA. So this process is called transcription. Remember this receptor hormone responsive element it acts as a transcription factor. So they will bind to a promoter region or certain region of the DNA for particular gene and initiate transcription or synthesis of mRNA. This mRNA will come out of this nuclear pore and they will present in the cytoplasm. We know that in the cytoplasm we have ribosomes. We have large subunit and small subunit of ribosome and there will be a protein synthesis. So it will start synthesis of protein. So this protein, the name of this protein is called cal binding. So this cal binding, whatever dietary calcium present in our intestinal lumen, for the absorption of this calcium, we require this particular protein. So this cal binding will migrate to the mucosal surface here. So whenever this protein, this particular protein that is cal binding, this together is a cal binding protein. When this cal binding protein is synthesized, it will move to the mucosal surface of the intestine. Then calcium can absorb into the intestinal mucosal cell and it can be transported to the circulation. So vitamin D or active form of vitamin D calcitriol is essential for absorption of dietary calcium. Without this vitamin D or calcitriol, there is deficiency of calcium. So in children there may be a rickets, in adults there may be a osteomalacia. So this is the mechanism of action of vitamin D in intestinal mucosal cell. We should remember this vitamin D or active form of vitamin D or calcitriol, it acts as a hormone since it has got receptor in the nucleus it will bind to the receptor. The name of the receptor is called vitamin D receptor and it will form a heterodimer with RXR and it will bind to certain region of the DNA and initiate transcription or synthesis of mRNA. This mRNA will come out through nuclear pore in the cytoplasm with the help of ribosome there will be translation or synthesis of a protein called cal binding and this cal binding actually helps in absorption of calcium from the intestinal lumen that is dietary calcium to the intestinal mucosal cell then it will be transported to circulation to the various organ maybe to the bone or different tissues. This is mechanism of action of vitamin D or calcitriol through vitamin D receptor. Thanks for watching.